I think the fortunate thing about the connection between the youth orchestra and the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra is we did have a basis to follow. We first developed all of our processes and protocols for the orchestra, and then we said, okay, how do we take this model and fit it onto? The only solution we could have was to break it down into smaller groups, which means we would expand the day. So normally ASYO rehearses from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock on Saturday, so now we rehearse from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and we had four groups. We were following the same protocols as ASO, so 90-minute rehearsals, a lot of the distancing, plexiglass, and um, sort of all the cleaning in between. And, but we were able to uh, serve all these students. Can you tell uh, a, us a little bit about how that changed throughout this season? That, that first time you had students in the hall to then um, uh, finishing up with the finale concert and having not only obviously the ensembles on the hall recording and performing, but having their families and friends and the attendants watching. Yes, it was quite the journey. I still remember November, well, even end of October, we were doing our online orchestra boot camps. These two days, introducing the students to each other, to the ASO uh, coaches, and having a chance to meet with each other and start, you know, just getting back to some sorts of normalcy, at least with learning, uh, working on their instruments, working on music and then our first rehearsals in November, and how the students were just, you know, it was a, a new world for them, because they, it was the first time since, because they didn't even get a chance to do their uh, crescendo concert last year, because the shutdown happened right, right before then. Right. And, and so it was um, first time in over about 10 months, about nine, nine months almost, that they had a chance to play together. and. Wow. I don't know, just hearing the sounds of them playing together and, and seeing the looks on their faces as they were playing and adjusting, but also just marveling at the sense of that. It was, was you know, such a treat.